a community forever changed. Think about them often. Three students shot and killed inside Chardon High School. If it can happen in Chardon, it can literally happen in any community. Five years later, Chardon is fighting back, fighting to keep students safe, fighting to make sure no other school experiences this tragedy. We're going to keep them alive and, and, and let them know that uh, they're not going to die in vain. They are a group forever linked by a horrific experience, shielding students from gunfire in Chardon High School's cafeteria five years ago today. Yeah, now they're taking the lesson they learned that day and teaching others to protect their students. Uh, they sat down with the E-Team's Kristen Vall. Kristen, their main message is just be prepared. Yeah, Karina, and they're sharing that message in a school safety seminar in Menor today for local administrators, teachers, and police. The man behind it all is Coach Frank Hall, who is credited with chasing the gunman out of the school. And it's credit he says he does not deserve. You know, the hardest thing you'd ever have to do is apologize to a parent and say, you know, I'm sorry. So, I am sorry. Hailed as a hero by so many, but inside, the burden is still so heavy for Coach Frank Hall. Demetrius and Russell and Danny, they're, they'll always be part of me. And, um, yeah, it was just tough to let them down that day. Frank carries around a cumbersome amount of guilt. If I was standing there, could I stop him from shooting? Angry at himself for not being able to save Demetrius Hewlin, Russell King, and Danny Permador. Three Chardon High School students shot dead by T.J. Lane in the school's cafeteria a place packed with kids on the morning of February 27th, 2012, a place where Frank was too. The memories are so fresh in your mind, stuff that you don't ever forget. We heard the shots rang out. Those memories just as fresh for athletic director Doug Snyder and Andy Fetchnik, the principal at the time. I wish I could have done more. Both were just across the hall from the cafeteria when they heard that distinct sound. Snyder immediately got on the phone with 911. If it can happen in Chardon, it can literally happen in any community. But these men refused to sit back and let this happen again and again. They refused to let others forget about Demetrius, Russell, and Danny. So today, they are coming together, this time, to speak in front of an audience of more than 100 people offering them a multi-layered approach to knowing the warning signs and keeping students safe in an active shooter situation. It's important to keep this out in the forefront that we don't become numb uh, to school shootings. Today's seminar is being held at Menor High School. It is not open to the general public. Parents from Sandy Hook and representatives from Virginia Tech will also be speaking. For the E-Team, I'm Kristen Volk. Terrence. Kristen.